Well, I think it's not more or less uh, complying to the directive of IPOP or no IPOP, suspending or not suspending. It is a question of fear. Uh, you know, the easiest thing to do is to uh, carry weapon and kill you know somebody, and uh, that's what happened in the past, and that's why you know the uh, some people in Southeast are afraid of coming out. Even if yourself go now to the street and say that, um, or you hold uh, you know AK-47, uh, you will see everybody will desert the street. So it's not a question of uh, compliance. It's a question of fear. <coughs> if the security agencies can, you know, have enough personnel in Southeast, you find out that the Southeastern man does not want to miss a day of work. They like to work, they're into trade, they're into commerce. You know, they want to end their daily living. So. This is something that the nation Nigeria must know, and this is something that security agencies must know. Security agencies must know that they owe Southeast people the duty to protect their lives. And this is the reason why it appears that in some states uh, there is a compliance of sit at home, even though, like you said, the IPOP has said, you know, it's suspended. But it's the worst thing that will happen to Southeast people because it will destroy the economy of Southeast. And so I've been singing and shouting that Southeast should take into knowledge not to allow such thing to happen because it will cripple the economy of Southeast.